five, six, seven, eight. Step ball change, step ball change. <laughs> welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new dance tutorial to Fulanito by Becky G. Apologies if the pronunciation is wrong but I love this song. It is such feel good summer vibes. So I mentioned in the dance video that I actually did get inspiration from the music video so I took a few of the moves from the video itself and put them into my choreography and I'm basically going to be breaking down all of the moves for you guys today in this dance tutorial. So if you do want to learn a fun dance to this song then keep on watching. You just disclaimers before I start first disclaimer is that the song won't be in this tutorial video and that is purely because of copyright the song is already up in the dance video which is up on my channel it will be linked down below so when you are finished learning this routine you can click straight through and practice with the dance video as many times as you need to second disclaimer this tutorial will be mirrored so everything behind me is going to flip around but I will always say if I'm using my right arm or my left leg just so that you guys can make sure that you are on track throughout the routine and last disclaimer sorry if there are like any external noises it is a little bit windy but it is also boiling hot and we are not used to this heat here in London so if I do rush through this routine it's because it is so hot and the sun is like glaring in my eyes so yeah prior apologies if I do go through them a little bit quickly you guys can rewind as many times as you need to that is the beauty of these tutorial videos rewind is your best friend i don't want to make this intro video too long let's get started learning this routine so we're coming in at the section right before the chorus and it's where the music slightly slows down so we're going to start by doing a step ball change we're going to step with this right leg we're going to step out as we do so our arms are going to come up and then we're going to bring the weight off of that left leg and then put it back down so that's going to look like one and two like so so we're going one and two so all we're doing is we're stepping right left right so that's what i mean by a step will change we're just stepping and then we're hitting ball change so as you can see step on the right leg bring the weight off of the left put the left leg back down and then we're going to step this right leg across the left leg to add our arms you know that our arms are going up on that first step so just going up and then as the weight comes off we're then going to bring our arms down the back of our head as we step that right leg across like so. Now, this is quite fast and you do also wanna add a bit of hip action if you can. So we're just gonna hit hip and hit like so. We're then gonna step another step will change. This time the left leg is stepping out. Our arms are gonna to continue to come down our body. So all we're doing is we're stepping left, right, and then the left leg is crossing over the right. So the steps are exactly the same. It's right, left, right, left, right, left. So I would just practice doing this motion a few times and practice kind of adding in your hip set because the more that you engage your hips, the better that this will look. And then you can add in your arms, which are really simple. It's just up and then down like so. And your arms are going to finish here as they're coming down your body. From here, we're going to kick this right leg in front of us. We're going to kick boom so as we kick our arms are coming up with it like so and this is going to be the momentum to push us into a second position so we're going to hit boom we're going to hop into this position so we're just in a deep second our legs are bent and our arms are out in front of us like so we're then going to use our arms to kind of control our legs so we're going to bring this right arm in and as we do so that right leg is going to twist in we're then going to push that right arm back out as we do so our right leg is going to twist back out and then we're going to do the same thing with the left so that is going to look like from here boom 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 we're going to hit kick hit and one and two so that jump is almost like you're scooping something up and then you're pushing it back and through so we finished here from here we're going to step on this right leg and we're going to hit boom and boom here so all we're doing is we're tapping this right leg. We're going to hit tap and tap and, and we're just twisting this right leg twice as we do that. And we're really engaging our hips again. Our hips are really important in this routine. And to help us kind of think about the hip motion, we're just going to use our arms to circle around like so. And I feel like that kind of helps you to really engage your hips. We're then going to catch. We're going to hit cross with our arms. And then we're going to bring our arms back out as we sink into that left hip like so so that's quite a sharp and hit like so and you will hear that in the music 
And from here, we're just gonna step back out on this right leg. We're gonna push out. We're gonna switch our body, the top half of it, to face the left hand side like so. And then all we're going to do from here is we're gonna bend both of our legs. We're gonna drop our arms down the middle. We're gonna twist the right leg in like so. And then we're gonna twist the left leg in like so. So we're just twisting those legs. Naturally, when you twist your legs, your hip will naturally pop. But just try and make sure that that hip pop is as big as you can get it. So basically, the lower that you put your body, the better that that pop is going to look. So you just want to do two of those pops, one on the right, one on the left. From here, we're just gonna step forward to face the front and that's gonna bring us into the second slow verse before the chorus. So we're back facing the front. All we're gonna do here is we're gonna hit boom, boom. So we're just doing two hips. It really doesn't matter which way you go first. I think I changed the way I went every single time because the way that you finish from here and then you come in, I feel like sometimes you go that way, but sometimes you go the other way. So don't worry too much about which way your hips go as long as you're doing two hip pushes and you're using your feet to kind of step through, step through. And we're just really engaging those hips. And to help us do that, we're adding our arms, which are just gonna be in this position. And they're kind of moving from side to side so our arms are pushing the way that our hip is pushing out so if our hips going to the right our arms going to the right if our hips going to the left our arms going to the left so we're just doing two of those so we're hitting one two we're then going to do two more but this time we're going to speed them up so we're going to hit one two and i kind of brought my arms up a little bit here so you just want to bring the level up ever so slightly we're then going to use our hands to go around so they're going to hit this position so they're here they're just going to twist in to hit this position and then they're going to go all the way up to the sky and as you can see my right leg is just on a bevel here so we kind of hit boom boom one and up like so from here we're going to jump our legs back out into a second position and we're going to hit boom boom so all we're doing is we're jumping our legs out we're then twisting this left leg back in and then we're going to twist the right leg you guessed it we're doing a lot of like leg twists which is quite good because i feel like the routine kind of has like a lot of similarities in the movements but there's just like minor tweaks so here we're going to use our arms they were up all they're going to do is they're going to come down they're going to go over to the left like so they're going to do a big circle like a circle of eight to then go back over to the right as we twist that right leg in like so so that's just going to look like one and two and like so from here we're going to catch one two three and four so again really similar leg movements we're just twisting the left leg in then the right leg in and then the left leg twice we're just switching up the arms so this time our arms are coming in again to this position and they're just coming down to our hip and as that leg twists in we're going to push our arms down then back up then down then back up and then draw ball like so that is the end of that little phrase so now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the chorus section which is where a lot of the inspiration came from the music video so we've finished here basically all we're going to do is we're going to cheat ever so slightly to bring the right leg in to join the left and we're just going to hit hips to the right hips to the left hips to the right hips to the left four hips now you can kind of interpret this however you want in the video i feel like um, becky's hand was more in front of her face but i just wanted to keep it kind of like over my head so feel free to kind of play around with that but you want your right arm to kind of be around your head and your left arm is just on your hip so really casual and you're kind of using that left hand to kind of push your hips almost so we're just doing four hips and again the bigger that you make these the better that they will look from here we're going to do a one and two three and four so kind of a salsa inspired move we're just stepping right left right left right left very similar to the move that we did at the beginning of the routine and arms are completely free i just kind of push mine out like so but feel free to kind of go with whatever feels the most comfortable for you but as long as you're kind of having fun with this i feel like that's the most important thing from here we're going to go back to the same move that we just did but we're only going to do two this time so we're going to hit hips to the right hips to the left exactly the same move but just two from here we're going to step this right leg out to the right and we're going to hit boom so as you can see i'm really using my arms to push down and my head to kind of tilt over to the right hand side and i'm arching my back ever so slightly to make that look as big as possible so one two like so 
From here, I'm just gonna circle this right arm over my head. So I'm gonna hit boom as I bring that right arm back in. I'm gonna hit boom with the left arm. So I'm just circling, circling. And then I'm gonna hit one and two. So I'm just hitting right, left, right. And again, feel free to kind of do whatever feels the most comfortable here with the arms. From here, my right leg is free. So I'm gonna step back out on the right leg to do the exact same move that we just did, but this time we have a bit longer. So I'm gonna hit boom, two, three, four and I'm gonna hit round, two, three, four. So from here, all I'm doing is bending both my legs and I'm hitting that right arm out of the way like so to kind of bring me back full circle to face the front. From here, I'm gonna step on this right leg and I'm gonna hit right, left, right, right. So all I'm doing is I'm bringing the left leg up first as I step on that right leg. So I'm hitting right leg down, left leg up, switch, and then I'm doing da, Ball. and my hands are just here on my hips and again the more that you engage your body and your hips here the better that that will look from here the left leg is free so we're just going to step out on this left leg our arms are going to go out like so so the right arm is in front the left arm is back we're then going to bring that right leg in to join the left leg and we're going to hit bum so we're basically twisting that right leg out ever so slightly as our arms push out and then we're doing the same thing the other way so we're stepping on the right leg this time the left arm is in front bringing it in and then hitting boom so it's just gonna look like one two three four really really casual before we step into boom and all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit forward forward so i'm just bringing my arms forward forward using my hips to kind of hit hip hip like so so hit hit and then gonna jump both of my legs together as my arms come up like so and then i'm gonna hit head whip round to the right to finish off the routine but that is all of the moves breaking down for you guys i'm so sorry if i went through it a little bit quickly like i said it is so hot so i just wanted to kind of get this filmed for you guys but i am going to go back all the way to the beginning i'm going to go through the whole routine a little bit faster but not completely up to speed and then when you guys are ready you can go and practice with the music as many times as you need to so from the beginning we're going to hit five six seven eight step will change step will change hit and catch catch round two hit hit one and pop and pop front hit and hit and fast fast swirl up down catch down catch hip 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 one two three four hit and hit hit and hit one to push back head circle head circle push ball change round and round hit 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 jump and head circle cool but that is all of the moves in this tutorial broken down for you guys i really hope that you guys have enjoyed learning this routine and most importantly i hope you guys have had fun if you guys do learn this routine and you manage to film yourself i would love to watch and repost you and all of that good stuff my socials are always linked down below so you know where to find me and i will definitely like watch and repost you I am going to be doing another dance cover compilation very, very soon. So if you guys do want to be featured in that on my channel, basically tag me in any of your covers of my choreography and I would definitely include you in that video. I hope you guys are doing well and most importantly, I hope you guys are staying safe. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.